Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about the movie Malignant, which is a horror movie if you didn't know, and it was released last week. I saw this movie over the weekend at the cinema. I'm just going to be giving a basic movie review and whether or not I would recommend it for you to watch. So if you're interested, then keep watching. So to start this video, I'm going to read out a short description of the movie in case you didn't know what the movie was about already. Madison is paralyzed by shocking visions of grisly murders and her torment worsens as she discovers that these dreams are in fact terrifying realities. Um, it's kind of vague, but yeah, essentially that's what the movie is about. The beginning was they introduced the characters quickly and you get a feel of what the characters are like. Action starts off in the first scene, to be honest, and you know, you're hooked from the, from the beginning. So secondly, I just want to appreciate how well shot some of the scenes were. So if you've either seen the movie or you're going to see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about because those scenes were very well shot and they really captivate you as a viewer. So number three, the characters. The characters were well constructed. They weren't annoying. They were sort of realistic. You know, those annoying characters that you see in horror movies and you're like, what are you doing? but that didn't happen here and that's something else that I I know it's a low standard but that's something else I appreciate about the movie. Number four is how well paced the movie was. I'm not sure if this is something that you guys look out for in movies as well but I know that when a movie is dragging along the plot and it's not moving as fast as it should um, it wasn't that. It keeps you on the edge of your seat so it's a well paced story. So moving ahead with the negatives of the movie. First of all I wasn't really scared. I wasn't scared. So the thing is that a lot of the scary parts were in the start of the movie and I think the main reason for that is because there was still some kind of mystery to what was happening, especially the threat. However, with time and how the movie progresses, zooming in on the threat's face for too long is not going to make me scared of the thing anymore. <coughs> like, I'm not going to be scared, I'm sorry. I know what it is. I know what's, what it's capable of now. Also, the story began to become very predictable, like I knew what was going to happen, I knew what the ending was. Another thing I want to quickly point out, I feel like the ending was a people pleaser kind of ending. I, I'm not sure if you agree with that, if you're someone who's seen the movie already, but I just felt like that ending was not realistic. It's not going to end the threat, it's not a solution, it's just to keep, again, no spoilers, but... I wasn't happy with the ending. It was a people pleaser ending and that's why I thought about it. But anyway, um, if you're wondering if you should see this movie in the cinema, I would say no. Don't watch it in the cinema, save your money. But if you're thinking that it's going to be a brilliant movie, it's going to blow your socks off, it's not. It's, it's just what it is. As far as rating, if I had to rate this movie out of a 10, I'm conflicted. I'd say 5 out of 10, but to be kind, I'd give it a 6. Anyway, everyone is entitled to their own opinions and I understand that a lot of people may think differently. They may have really enjoyed the movie in ways that I didn't. So um, I'm just going to end the video here and if you found this video interesting or useful, then please like and subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys in the next time's video. Bye.